so the next day, nice and loose, I can spin everything. Get this back one done first. Slide in the bottom part and roll it at the same time and snap it into the O-ring at the bottom. You'll feel it go in place. Then the top, gotta slide it up to the very top up here. I'm gonna get a screwdriver and I'm gonna pop it up in there. You want to angle it because as soon as you put it in there, that's it. couple of threads, lock tight, both sides, clean off the surfaces, make sure there's no debris or anything inside of here. This is where your fuel is at, so, I mean, make sure nothing's inside. We're gonna shell light it in here, like so, tilting it ever so slightly. <laughs> And coming up with a little wiggle and a goal. Go, 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 go. fuel line off it's just a snap little snap on unsnap it pull the fuel line off don't run into this aluminum um, little line here you don't want to bend it Clean up our faces, 
old gasket out clean it all up we're gonna take some brake cleaner clean it all up just make sure you just go and check all your welds your motor mounts make sure they're all good uh, check everything now we're gonna clean it all up stick that motor in here I just set this one in right here at the top uh, upside down I still need to put a washer in here maybe if not I gotta put red lock tight and get that thing tight to spec and we're gonna start putting in these bolts right here and the ones up front right here so let's do that now I got the gasket in there you can double check but I can see inside of there and you can see the gasket it's a little silver thing in there anyways gasket's good still all in place <coughs> I got the top bolt in first and I didn't have another person here with me just by myself so it wasn't easy and that kinda sucked to do it by myself but you know it is what it is and then the bottom one went in second now right now I'm lining up the dowel pin and the bolts are ready um, pretty much all the way in so how I was doing it is I literally will lift the engine like this and I was tightening it at the same time so I'm lifting it and tightening it but that's how I got it lined up is I had to lift damn the whole fucking engine and I was holding it like carefully but pretty much now I fandangled it to where I just picked it up and tightened it up so Here's a little tip you got to take your oil filter off to put the motor mount on I leave the oil filter on if you got the old oil filter just to keep the surfaces the faces everything clean so now I took it back off and I don't have both bolts right now so tomorrow I will go get another one so anyways you have the two compression release <coughs> automatic compression release so let's look at your throttle cable you have your throttle cable okay it's all loosened up already I already have everything loosened up all the way as far as you can go okay you have your throttle cable that comes down okay now the one <coughs> you first grab this right then you pull it the direction that it goes Okay, now 
when you grab it originally to figure out which is which, you grab and you go, okay, it goes this way. <clears throat> so it goes towards the bike. So you want this, when you pull back, you want it to be first. And the one that pulls back first is the one in the back. Okay, so the one that pulls, I get, and <clears throat> between the two, it's the shorter one. <clears throat> so the shorter of the two, the longer one goes in here, and it has a, a spring. So this one has a spring. Let me just show you real quick. So like I said, we were going to make sure that this is nice and free with the cables and everything's nice and free in here. So what we're going to do right now So <clears throat> the one that goes on this side has this spring on there right here. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that the other side does not. But like I said, if you have them both out like this, the one that pulls first, okay, is obviously this one. And we'll pull this one all the way out and this one's a short one okay and the short one has the spring on it okay so let's get this long one put it in the back over here because that is the one that the throttle pulls back and you right now I'm pulling back right now I'm pulling back right now I'm pulling back okay boom I'm gonna put that one roll it all the way over put it I'm gonna put it right in this groove okay then I'm gonna roll it all the way over and then I'm gonna put it right here and this one not this one but this one the closest one <clears throat> then I'm gonna make sure that it rolls over nice and neat tucks in over there and then you can grab the throttle and it should it should flick open okay now we need <clears throat> the other one so let's do that real quick okay now we have to put this up there first Put the spring up there, nice, nice. And then what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna bring it up over here. <clears throat> Set it right in there and kind of roll it over, but shove it back in there. What's going on with it right now is we have to adjust it. So, we will adjust it right now, actually, just to keep the throttle in there. And later on, seeing the tension on it seeing how now I don't want to adjust it until it's open the throttle position is opened <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm just gonna keep adjusting it 
until my throttle position starts to open and then I'm going to back it off quite a few t let's see how much I back it off you know what there's just a little tiny slack in there and I'm good with that I mean it's just very tiny it's very tiny slack nothing's pulling on it um, if I need more later I'll adjust it but for now that side is good and we'll adjust this other side you can see as I'm turning it and open taking this <clears throat> out <clears throat> it's tightening up this side now watch that's loose and I'll tighten it up okay let's see how that feels oh way too tight <clears throat> 